everybody at St. Helens. You may remember me. My name is Colin Van. Time, time, sable, rock star, rock hero. And you may remember me as I used to come into your school quite a bit with my good friend, Mad Man Bianco. And we used to come in and tell you about the importance of learning those times tables. Now, if you remember, we used to love to be invited in by Mr. Chapel and Mr. Spence, and we used to tell you about how important it was to learn those times table. There you can see a brilliant picture of the last time we came in. And then there's some more pictures of our trip to see you. And we love coming in because we know learning times table is all about just trying your best and flying high, which I know you do at St. Helens. Now, unfortunately, although we enjoyed so much coming in to see you, to talk to you about times tables, we're not allowed to do that now. So when I last came in to see you with my good friend, Carla Radke, and we told you about how important it is to keep learning those times tables, it's so important to continue doing that while you're at home or even when you're in school, because it's so important to learn them for your maths. Now we know learning is a little bit tricky at times, but the more you practice those times tables, the easier they become. Because actually, did you know, there's not that many to learn across the whole of your time at primary school. And I've got a lovely quick video to show you, which shows you how many facts there are to learn from year one maybe, even started in year, ah, reception. Some people knowing two times two is four in reception. All the way up to year six, there's not that many to learn. So let's have a quick look at this video, which tells us all about learning our times tables. We have to learn our times tables all the way up to 12 times 12. So how many is that? Well, 12 times 12 is 144, so it's 144 timetables to learn. But there are no one times tables, so it's only 121. 121 is still a lot. The 10 times tables are super easy, so we can take them out too. Okay, so it's 100. And most of the 11 times tables are dead easy, so we can forget about them as well. That leaves 84. And the 2 times tables are really easy. They're just doubling, so we can take them out too. Times tables come in pairs, like 5 times 12 and 12 times 5. They have the same answer. 60. Yeah. So if we know these times tables, we don't have to learn those. So we only have to learn 38 times tables. I can do that. Me too. <laughs> so if they can do it, you guys can do it as well. We know you can do it at St Helens. We know you can be flying high and learning those times tables with practice because I also know as year five and year six you know we've had conversations about this maybe it's not even the 38 that you're gonna le learn because if you take out those lovely square numbers that we know then maybe it's only 29 facts because lots of us will know our square numbers a 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144. Maybe we could be really good and go backwards with our times table. Join in with me, St. Helens. 144, 121, 100. 9, 9's are 81. 8, 8 is 64. 7, 7 is 49. 6 times 6 is 36. 36 is a square number. 5 times 5 is 25, so 25 is a square number, 16, 9, and then 3 times 3 was 9, and then the final square number is 4. So actually, when you take out those square numbers, there's actually only these 28 fact, 29 facts to learn, and I reckon you'll be able to do that if you keep playing times table rock stars. And we know if you practice and practice and practice, Things become easier. We know learning is hard at times, but if you keep practicing times table rock stars, then hopefully you will get better at your times tables. So why don't we have a go, guys? Why don't we have a go at having a go at times tables rock stars now? So if I share my screen, then we'll be able to have a look at playing a game of times table rock stars together. Why don't we have a go now and see what we can do in terms of playing 
time stable rock star. So let me bring it up for you now and then we'll have a go. And then you maybe shout out the answers from where you are because I won't be able to do it and I'll type it in. So let's have a go. Where should we go? I've just been playing around the world. So I've been playing some of these arenas. So let's have a look. Principality State. Let's play Wembley, home of the England football team. Hopefully I'll get to see Mr. Chapel's favourite team. Bristol City play there one day. And maybe even Mr. Spen's favourite football team, Southampton. So let's play Wembley. So don't forget, shout out the answers as quick as you can at the device, by the computer screen. So here we go. So what's nine times two, everybody? Yes, you're right. 18. 110, I heard somebody say. Well done. Now, we know times tables are really important for division. So we know 6 times 6 is 36. So 36 shared by 6 is 6. So what's 4? Groups of 6. Because we're going to come to a different language and multiplication next week when we talk. Yes, I did hear you right in year 3. 4 6s are 24. Well done. Ah, oh, year 2. I heard somebody in year 2 just say 10 6s are 60. 6 groups of 10. 10 groups of 6. 60. 12 times 4. I hear you say in year 4. Did I hear you say 48? Yes, I did. And 48. Ah, oh, 6 groups of 12. We can break that down. 6 times 10 is 60. 6 times 2 is 12. Put them together. 6 12s are 72. Thank you, year 5. Ah, oh, 4 times 2 is 8. Oh, well done, St. Helens Primary School. Now, I oh, was good. So I want you to see, so let's have another game. Why don't we play another game? Let's go to another one of my favorite places, the Sigo Dome, which is in America. I just got back from America and I've been obviously um, having to stay in my own house. Oh no, let's go to the Principality Stadium in Wales, where I know lots of people go and watch the rugby and people will play there. So that's again. Call out the answers as soon as you possibly can. So let's play Principality Stadium. Oh, no, I just missed it again. Let's play Wembley. So we want to play Wembley Stadium again and see if we can beat the score of seven that we did. So this time, I need you shouting at the screen as loud as you can to be able to, for me to hear you. Here we go, rock stars. Come on, St. Helens, let's rock this. So shout out those answers. Oh, did I hear you in year six? 72. Yes. 66, well done, year three. Oh, well done, year four, with the answer of three. Oh, doubling a two, well done, year two. And then what are we going for this one? 11, did I hear you say, is somebody in year three? Well done, double 12, double 12. It's 24, well done, year five. Double four is eight, well done. Oh, four times eight is 32. Eight times four is 32. So that would mean 32 divided by four is eight. Yes, year two. Two times 11. 22. Well done. Oh, nine times six. Got a nice ring about it. Nine times six. Nine times six is 50. Oh, well done. 54. Seven times 10. 70. Superb years two. Oh, there's another year two question. I know you've got it already. That's what I put it in. 12 times eight. I know the year threes and year fours were working on their eight times table. It's 96. Did I? Oh, so close. So close. So it's about learning those five tables as quick as you can. I agree, round of applause. My good friend, Mad Mad Bianco, would love to be here with you. So really, really well done with what you're doing. Now, I know that actually we keep practicing those. We will get better and better and better. And I'm going to actually share a challenge with you. I want to see you learning those timetables every week. Because Mr. Chapel told me, he gave me all the stats, statistics, graphs, numbers, percentages, so important with maths. And Mr. Chapel said, hey, Carden Van, did you see that only 27% of the whole school has been playing in the last seven days? And I know we can get better than that. He also said, hey, Mr. Chapel, have a look at this. Can you see that this class is so quick? with their time tables, so we can actually go in and have a look how quick the class averages are. So in this particular class, everybody in this class can answer their eight times table in roughly 2.4 seconds, which is 
amazing, so fantastic. And those children can answer their nine times table in only 2.47 seconds as well. So I want to have a look this time next week and see how quick you can. And times table rock stars is so clever for all those teachers. Teachers can have a look at their class and see how quick you can answer the questions. So again, this great class of St. Helens, if I see eight just here times by three just here, and then I hover over it, I'll be able to see how quickly you can answer it. So actually on this example, four times eight, the children in this class can on average take 2.36 seconds to answer. So I wanna set you the challenge. If you keep playing times table rock stars, you can turn your maps like this into quicker green maps. And it's about practice, practice, practice. So if you look at this particular st statistic we've got here, we can see that some people have been playing about eight minutes a day. Some people have been playing six minutes a day, 12 minutes a day. Fantastic. We can see all the questions that they've been answering as well. So really, really well done. So Mr. Chapel is going to look at every class next week and see if we can improve the number of people playing. As a school, can we be greater than 27 percent of you playing that would be amazing to do that and we can improve our different skills now i love times tables so much i want to have one more game who wants one more game i can't hear you st helen's children you want one more game well let's go for it then let's have one more game of time table rock stars together let's see what we can get in our time table rock stars and and i'll see if we can bring that up in a minute so just bear with me all you guys at times table rock stars we're gonna just go into it and have a look at where we are and we can see what we're doing with times tables rock stars here so let's have a look and let's go for it in our times table rock stars learning as quick as we can all the time of what we're doing so let's go and find this game now so let me bring it up and then i want you calling out those answers as loud as you can as we play another arena. So the last time we play today. But just remember, five minutes go, 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, just answering those different questions will all help your mass work. So call them out again if you can. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Call out the answers. What's that? Seven sevens and 49. Oh, but it's 42 divided by seven. So come down one. So that would be 60. Fantastic. 60 divided by 10. 10 into 60. The quotient, the divisor. We'll talk about those words another time. 24. Fantastic. Oh, Mr. Chapel's favorite one in year five. Seven eights of 56, I hear you say. We all know that one. Call out. Key stage one, children. I can't hear you. Call out again. You're right, 100, and six divided by three is two. Fantastic, six times 12 is 72. Fantastic again, we're on a roll, St. Helens. 12, four times 11, bingo, well done. It's 44, ah, oh, 40 divided by five. You could scale that up, five, 10, 50. Oh, no, you don't need that, you know, five times eight is 40, so 40 divided by five is eight. You know, oh, we're just out of time. So really, really well done. A round of applause. You can in your own round of applause just there. Now, I also want to talk about number box. Because I know we've got our two stage one children on number box as well. So we're going to have a go at number box as well. So I know. Because my good friend Carlin Van said, Miss Chapel, time save rock stars is important. But what we also need is those younger children learning their number facts and their key facts as well, which they do so often in big mass and they do so often at home. So, key stage one, join in with me. I want you shouting at the screen now. So, Carlin Van's not just a rock star hero, he's a number bond star. As well, so let's hear these number blocks as well. Call out the answer. Three, two, one. 
the what goes with seven to make ten? So your number bond, seven and three make ten. Thank you. Four and. What have we got? Did somebody say six? Well done. One and. Brilliant. Well done. We have got nine. Well done, that person who just said nine. What goes with eight to make ten? I hear you say two. Well done. Oh, that doubling. Five and five. Five and five. Five and five make ten. Ten and. What have we already got? Ten. When we need not. Well done. Eight is there again. Eight and we just did it. So it's that practice. So we know that eight and plus two. Eight add two. Eight and all two all together make ten. One plus nine. Fantastic. You're on a roll, key stage one. Three plus seven is ten. Well done to all those children who are playing to number box as well. So we've got ten as well. So set oh, just out of time. Just out of time, but I know you've done so well with your number bots, number bonds to ten. So really, really well done. We got fifty coins. What's that? You want to play again? Key stage one and other children? Yes, of course we can. Let's have one more go. And then Carl and Vance just got to go. I'm sorry, Taylor Swift's just ringing. Hang on, two seconds. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll ring him back in a minute, Taylor Swift. I, I, I'm, I'm just with St. Helens' children. So let's play one more time. Here we go. Let's play. Here we go. Shout them out, Key stage one. How quick can you be? So we just practice this one. one. So one plus nine. My, oh, we just did it. We know that part and part makes a whole. So we just have one part. No, it's one. One part was nine. The whole is ten. So if we've got another part is nine, then the other part is one. It's ten. It's the whole. Well done. Three plus seven. Ten. Oh, these are coming really quick. I can hear you. I can hear you. Well done. Key stage one and other children who play number box. Six plus four. Well done. Eight plus two. You're right. Nine. Oh, we just had that one. What is it? Yes, you're right. Nine plus one. Zero plus, oh, ding, oh, great one. Ten. Ah, oh, tricky doubling. Qu tricky doubling. But we know one and one is two. Two and two is four. Three and three is six. Four and four is eight. Five and five is ten. Well done, doubling. Reception. Five. Oh, we just had it again. Five and five is ten. One and nine is ten. Oh, just out of time. Really well done. Children playing number box. Fantastic. So I'm going to set you the challenge. I want you guys over these next couple of weeks to keep playing your times table rock stars, your number box as far as possible so that we can get your percentages up. And who knows, maybe, maybe we will see that the school record for times table rock stars will be beaten. And maybe we'll see the number box scores going up and up if you're playing as much as possible. So I want to sign off now because I've got to go. Taylor Swift's ringing again. She's ringing again. I, I've, got to, I've got to ignore Taylor Swift. I just had Miley Cyrus on the phone as well. So I've got to go, guys. But I want to say, keep practicing those times tables and hopefully we'll see you very soon. I'm going to check in next week with you all. So keep practicing and we'll see those numbers go up. So really well done, everybody. I'm out of here. Keep practicing. And as always, keep flying high at St. Helens Primary School. <laughs>